about that. And what we're doing here tonight really is we are doing two things. Most importantly, we are um, we are raising awareness about breast uh, health, uh, breast cancer awareness, and um, breast cancer research. So the lingerie department, are, they are so um, knowledgeable in terms of helping us get fit for the right bras. And even if you know of someone who has um, had breast cancer and um, have had reconstructive surgery, they are well equipped to uh, get them properly fit here as well. But uh, tonight what I want you to know is that a portion of the proceeds from all of the bras that are purchased will go to the Susan G. Komen Fund. And so that's what I really want you to know. That's the purpose part of it. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to chat for a second more on my story because it is um, profound to me on many, many levels as I have just come out of this experience myself. My life has forever been changed and impacted. And I'll tell you, um, yes, I had my first mammogram last spring at 37. Um, it was amazing to be still enough anyway to hear my body speak to me. Um, but I went and I got, I got that done and, and then I found out I needed to have a biopsy. I did that. It was inconclusive and they said, okay, we need to do surgery and have this taken out, which is very scary for, for me. Um, but here's what I want you to know. This is the most important thing is that beyond prayer, because I am a prayer warrior for myself and others, but beyond that, um, I needed help. And I needed to reach out and ask for that help, which as women, how many of you guys know that that's hard to do? Yeah, look at all of you. Yes, 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 because we're constantly taking care of other people and, and not asking for the help that we need. So I risked um, my vulnerability and I put myself out there and I actually reached out to many of you that are here in this room. I reached out to clients, I reached out to family and I said I need some help. I need to know who you would put your name to, um, how you would, uh, uh, point me in the right way for uh, the right resources that I need and I want you to know that so much came back And that's a shock. It gives me chills because sometimes we don't want to put it out there because what if someone doesn't help us When we really need it, right? But I want you to know that so much came back and for the people who didn't have answers They forward it to their friends who did have answers and I want to acknowledge Laura Come up here my new BFF, I called her for sure. <laughs> this is an amazing story for, for for this situation, but for anything. So Laura, oh, so she is someone that I don't even know, hardly, still to this day. But a friend connected me with her through Windermere Real Estate because Laura has um, been victorious over breast cancer in the last couple of years. She battled and she won. And uh, a client of mine connected me with her. And she called me, she emailed me, she told me, here's what you need to know, here's what I wish I knew, here's how you connect the dots, here's how you reach out, and by the way, do you need anyone to go with you to any of your appointments I will go? Can you believe that? Aww. I mean, all I'm saying, I say this just to share with you all um, the, the, how empowering it is to ask. And so my new lesson for myself and for you all is to risk your vulnerability, to ask, to then receive, because that's also hard for us, and then don't forget to pay it forward. Don't forget to pay it forward. So You know, when I went through the whole experience, same thing. People were so giving, and it just made me see all the compassion that there is in the world. Yeah. It's, it's powerful. Yeah, yeah, and P.S., then she traveled the world. She took a year off of work after her recovery and traveled <laughs> nice. the world. Which you probably wouldn't have done if it weren't for cancer. So. <laughs> <laughs> cancer was a gift, definitely. And there is life after chemo. I'm probably more healthy now than I was before diagnosis. So, so and I was 37 also. Really? Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. So, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So, yes, so tonight we're bringing awareness to, to all of that and we're celebrating. And then also, part two of why you're here tonight is so that I can pamper you. Pamper you, pamper you, and thank you, thank you uh, for your support of me, um, Kim Crumpler, and my business, Uniquely Savvy. Um, so many of you people here tonight are people who I've worked with that have been referred business. 
and that and that you've turned around and referred back. And I just want to say thank you and uh, to serve you as best as I can tonight. If you need something that's not out here and you want it, let me know. If I need to run for you, I can run in these boots. <laughs> I've got that covered too. Um, exciting things I want to share with you. For many of you who don't know what I do.